Hi there everyone, Josh here from Teach Yourself Websites. Today I'm going to show you how you can limit the length of your excerpts in WordPress. So by default on WordPress, when you look at a, one of your blog pages and you're listing a li all of your blog posts, you'll see that they get trimmed off um, automatically and then there's a continue reading or some, some variation of that. Um, sometimes in themes they get a little overzealous and um, make these excerpts a bit too long. So I'm going to show you a trick today um, for how you can shorten these to whatever size you like. So to get started, um, what we need to do is um, go and edit our functions.php file. Uh, you can download this from your web server. Just go into your themes directory on your web server, download the, the functions.php file, and then um, open it up in your favorite editor. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Um, I'm using JEdit. Um, I'll put a link to that in the in the show notes. But there's also a bunch of other editors you can use as well. So uh, the bit of code that I want to write here is um, is something called a filter. And a filter um, does exactly what it sounds like it does. It takes a bit of text and manipulates it and does something to it. Um, these are used very commonly inside of WordPress and um, any developer using WordPress will um, be quite familiar with filters and actions and all those kind of things. So if you're just being introduced to this, this is a nice uh, friendly filter you can you can cut your teeth on um, and it'll give you a, a doorway into, into more things, more complicated things. So the bit of code we want to write, um, I'm going to write uh, the filter first. So what I need to do is make a call to add filter and the filter that I want to filter is called excerpt length. So I just um, put that inside a string and then I'm going to do a comma and I'm going to give it the name of a function. So what this will do is when it hits this filter WordPress will go, oh I need to call this function before I finish spitting out the output of this. So now what I need to do is uh, write the name, write my function to do the filtering. So I type in the word function and then I've already defined the name of this here. So I can just copy and paste that. And it takes one parameter and that's called the length. So what happens is WordPress comes along, gives this function the, the current length of the, the excerpt and then we have to tell it how many characters that we want to return. So say if we wanted to limit that to 20 characters, we could put that in there. You could put 50, 100, 150, whatever you like. Um, just play around with it until it starts to look good on your blog. So I need to close the, the function there with a squiggly bracket. And that's it. That's all you need to, to put in there. I'll put this bit of code in the show notes as well, so you can just copy and paste it if you like. So once you save that, um, upload it back up to your server and then go back to the front of your site. Just using uh, FileZilla here to upload that functions.php file back up to my server. So I just need to go to the themes directory. I'm going to find my theme that I've got installed. Um, I'm using a child theme. So if you don't know what child themes are, um, they let you edit your theme without making any permanent changes to it. So you can then upgrade the parent theme if you need to. So what I'm going to do is just get this functions.php file and you notice it's actually not there in my theme. If it doesn't exist you can actually create it and WordPress will pick that up automatically. So I've uploaded that now and if I switch back over to my blog here I can refresh this page and you'll see that the excerpt has been shortened down to 20 characters. So have a play with it and um, see if you can get the excerpts exactly right for your site and hope you enjoy this tutorial.